Well, the bat latch comes delivered with a comprehensive instruction manual, which includes complete instructions and hints on how to use the unit and what it can be used for. A quality spring gate that can do 8 metre spans. A clip to clip lead. Uh, we use this for electrifying the spring gate from your electric fence source. And of course the bat latch itself, uh, which has a web strapping for strapping the bat latch to a gate post. Um, the bat latch, essentially what it is, is a portable timer that mechanically releases the attached spring gate. Um, we have a look on the uh, rear of the bat latch. We see that it has a solar panel. So the bat latch is solar powered and the solar panel charges an internal NICAD battery. On the front we see it's got an LCD sub, um, display and a soft touch um, keyboard. The unit itself is fully waterproof with gaskets and o-rings throughout and it's made from tough polycarbonate um, plastic materials. Okay, the, how we use the bat latch is what we do is we first of all we program the unit um, to have it release the spring gate when we want to. We then strap it to the gate and attach the spring gate across the uh, gateway. We can attach the hot wire to electrify the spring, spring gate should we want to. Uh, that's an option. And uh, when, when the bat latch is um, programmed to release, uh, it wakes up and by means of a gearbox inside, turns this cam around, allowing the hook of the spring gate to release. And I can quickly demonstrate that with the uh, manual demonstration mode. I hit a button here and you will see how this cam will turn around, thereby allowing the hook of the spring gate to come away um, from the bat latch. I'll just show you that again. Put it under tension. And there we go. Here we have the bat latch uh, set up in a gateway situation. Well, it's an example of a gateway anyway. So we've got the bat latch itself strapped to one post and the spring gate stretched across the gateway to the other side.
at the bat latch side of the gateway we can see where the energizer clip is connected to a hot wire source and the wire itself is connected onto the spring gate hook that hooks around the lobe there of the bat latch itself. I'm now going to uh, get the bat latch to release using its test mode. So I'll come up and uh, hit the release mode. We will see what happens. And as you can see, the spring gate has opened. The uh, clamp came away from the the uh, clamp that was providing the uh, hot wire to the spring gate uh, pulled away, and um, the gap is left for the uh, stock to walk through. <laughs> 